Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Lillian's Couch. On today's episode, I have one of the biggest designers, interior designers in Nigeria. She is a restaurateur and entrepreneur. She has multiple businesses and she has decided to grace us with her presence. Tracy Mwapa. I got it! <laughs> Tracy, Tracy, thank you for coming on my couch. I really do appreciate your time. No, I'm honored to be here. I mean, I... I Trust me, I love you. That's why I'm here. I, I don't even do these things anymore, but I was just like, I have to do it for Lily. So I know. thank you. For thank you so me. much for coming. Um, I'm just going to go right into it. Um, how many businesses do you have, Tracy? Okay, right now I'm focused on interior culture and Slice. So Slice is a baby, so it's new. So I'm doing that now more full time than any other business. But I do have a little bit of like side things I do. Mm -hmm. like, you know, because I like I like women looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like to inspire women. So anything that I feel like will inspire them. So when it comes to like skincare, I used to wear contact lenses a lot. I mean, I've been wearing contact lenses since I was 16. Now I just oh, wow. I'm done with the colored ones. So I just wear clear ones now mm -hmm. and I, I sell that on the side. But I, I'm just really right now focused on Slice. Um, to be fair, right, um, Tracy, you're every time I have come to Slice, even for brunch on Sundays, for dinner, when I have my dates in your restaurant, <laughs> you are always there. And when I mean there, you're not just there. You come, you attend to us. You come, are you guys okay? Oh, your order is not here. How do you balance your work and your personal life? Tracy, you're always there. Okay, first of all, it's not balanced. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's wobbly. <laughs> it's all the way to the left right now. And for a new child, like if you have a new baby, you know, your, your attention goes 100% you know, to it. Like my personal life is suffering, my social life is suffering, but it's just the sacrifice to get to where I need to get it to be. Um, hospitality business, especially in this country, is very, very, very tedious. You have to be hands-on, you have to be involved, at least to set the standard. And then hopefully you have, you know, strong hands that can carry it on for you. But it's gonna take me about a year and a year and a half, because I talk to other restaurant owners and ask them like, how long did it take for you to back off? And usually it's like one year plus. You can't be a madame immediately. You have mm -hmm. to be there and set the standard. And I want it to be a place where anybody who lives all over the world in Dubai, in London, they come here and there's, there's that standard. Mm -hmm. It's been standardized. Um, another thing is, because I notice sometimes when I come there, you're telling me, oh, you just finished doing your makeup upstairs. You were rushing down. I don't know, how do you do? How do you even do that? And then this, remember the day I came on a Sunday, we're having this conversation. I was telling you about how my business, the stress, you know, getting a manager. Because people actually think you're the manager and you're not the manager. <laughs> That's why when they say, I'm just like, hmm, I'm just laughing. <laughs> you're not because you, ha you know. So please, I want you to elaborate on that for me. Okay, first of all, I'm a Virgo. So I'm highly organized. I mean, sometimes Nigeria makes the organized chaos. So I like to plan my day. Because um, I, I, I like fitness, I like going to the gym, but I mean, running this business has, has, has made it very difficult because I'm working all day and I'm working at night. So, when, like, on, on like other businesses, you know, you know you're working during the day and then at night you can chill. But imagine yesterday, I wanted to watch a show and I'm like, God, I have to go to Slice at 7. Yeah. You know, so because only during the weekends though. But like during the day, I have to do the back end, I have to do the operations. Then at night, I have to get ready and then be on the floor. So it's like you're getting ready to go on stage. You know what I mean? So it's like you're practicing all day. Mm -hmm. my, my, my job, you know, being at Slice is like, just like basically how you, if you were doing a live play, you know, I compare this part of my life to like, if I was an actress like you, yeah. but then a live actress on stage. So you're rehearsing all day and at mm -hmm. night, it's showtime. Mm -hmm. So in order for me to do that, I have a bathroom in my office. I spend like, I shower more in my office than at home. I swear to God, yes. Wow. And so I had to make it like, Amazing. Do you have like a bed? I have a bed. I have no. a mattress in my office as well. So I take naps. I got to take naps in the day. Like I take naps at like three, four. Sometimes I can't. Like I, I at least I'm just lying down and just like yeah, you know, processing my thoughts mm -hmm. and just not trying to think too much about work. So I got to do that all the time. Um, and then at like seven, then I go for spinning class. And then I come back home, come back to the office, shower. My maid brings my clothes all the time. So I'm leaving like I'm living in between my car. My house really right now is kind of like a, like a, 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 a closet, a, a flat closet. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. It's like a flat wardrobe. So I just 
bring stuff, dump stuff, grab stuff. Like, I have my makeup stuff in my... In my like, me doing my makeup here. When Tracy yeah. literally did her makeup here. Like it's like, it's like second to numb for me now. I just, like, boom, 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 boom. And then the staff. Tracy, the staff. Hmm. My business is not as big as yours. My, my lingerie business, but... I know how hard it is for me getting the right staff. How do you cope with that? Because I know you still, I don't know, have you gotten a manager now? The yeah, manager, I have you? gotten a manager now. Okay. Um, with staff, um, well, my managers are expatriates. So every, every department head is an expatriate because I just feel like while I'm trying to empower, I feel like we still have a lot to learn. So mm -hmm. why not work with experts who can now teach, you know, and then with time, you know, because I'm a very firm believer in local content, but I just feel like in this industry, hospitality business, you know, a lot of the Lebanese, um, Indians, they mm -hmm. kind of like have it unlocked. So I'd rather get the experts to train us because a lot of times we don't really know what we're doing. So no. there's no point, like I, I had no experience in this. Um, with the youth and staff, like you say, um, my, my goal is to empower them. I want to give them an opportunity. So, and there are good people out there, trust me. I have, I, I, I try to motivate them. So if I have like, I have, I have, in Slice, I have 60, 62, 62 people working under wow. me that I have to manage. Um, and what I do is every month, I give an award to the best, like mm -hmm. maybe 10 staff in each department. So one each, like a waiter, I'll give one. And I have some really good waiters and waitresses. I have some really good staff. Like I have a stock controller who started as a stock keeper. And now she's heading my stock. I can call her any time today right now because I'm also a very tech savvy person. So everything I do, goes through it, an application. So I have an inventory app system, I have to control theft. Everything that comes into this business, from my phone, I can see everything. My cameras, I can see everything from my phone. Um, everything that is punched in the system, I can see it from my phone. Um, my reservations is on my phone. So if I want to know how many people have reserved for today, it's on my phone. Do you understand? So that's how I run my business, so that I'm taking a lot of the work from the staff and mm -hmm. putting it through a robot you know mm -hmm, what i mean mm -hmm. but yes you still need someone to impute so mm -hmm. but it kind of like does half of the job for them that's one number two I, let me go back to what i was saying i motivate them how do i do that if at the end of the month i'm saying that you get 10k or 5k for being the best staff in your department and you get a certificate and it's hung on the wall with your picture and we're celebrating you who doesn't want to be celebrated yeah. so if you want to be celebrated you're going to do your best because there are perks you're getting money. Who doesn't like money? Yeah, who don't like free money. Yeah, who don't like you understand? Yeah. So like, so when I do that, I see that there's an increase in performance, and it makes them want to do better. It makes them want to. But then there's also this reward and this punishment. Mm -hmm. If you do bad, you're out of here. Yeah, and deduct, you, or deduct your salary. Deduct your salary, and then I, I have very low tolerance because I know that I'll rather like keep filtering till I get that that perfect staff, and I know that there are people that want to work. I had a girl, um, my one of my waitresses. This girl came in like three days because my partner. He always says, the fact that you don't have a job means that you're not good at what you are doing. Because if you were good, you would have a job. And it's true. All these drivers that you're looking for out there and they don't have jobs, there's a reason why they don't have jobs. Mm -hmm. All these people that jump from job to job to job, there's a reason because they're not good. But we give them a chance. And when she came, she learned the menu in two days. Well, she was experienced, but she learned the menu in two days. She doesn't fight. She doesn't, because these people you're working with, like kind of like the bottom part of society. Mm -hmm. So... Their, their mannerisms, the way they relate to each other, yes. they are fighting and we have a staff quarters. <laughs> and you're living, my neighbors are like, you know, complaining like, who are these hoodlums that are living mm -hmm. with you because they are fighting if it's not water, who took the buckets first? I'm hearing like <laughs> things that I'm just like, people deal with this? These are real third world problems, yeah. you know? But still, I just feel like when you motivate them and you encourage them, you actually, I feel like a lot of times they want to be heard. You know, you just talk to them and you ask them, okay, what is it that is the problem? What 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 is angering you? Mm -hmm. What is it? And when you, exactly. And and when and when they tell you and you you actually do something about it, it makes them even more relaxed, except for the ones that are possessed. Are wicked. Some of them are. There are some that are just possessed. I I I feel like it's it's an outer force that, mm -hmm. you know. So those beyond ones, you, beyond it's God. and beyond them. Yeah. I feel like they're dealing with something else, like an out of body experience. I'm mm -hmm. just like, you know what? We've done everything to help you and it's not working. So, you know, you got to go. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I know something has to suffer, you know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day. But I remember when you got featured in this Netflix um, thing. They made by made, Design. Made by Design. From the little I know about you, I just see you post on your social media. You just go about your work. I, I never knew you to be like, I was so I was surprised that you did that. So, 
I quickly went there. I said I wanted to watch what was Tracy saying, and I saw you know they you know they captured a lot of your your designs, your interior. And something I've not noticed about your interior is you keep it clean, you keep it simple, you keep it classy, you keep it unique. Like whenever I go to your page, because I love interior, so sometimes I just go to your page, and you know it's just a breath of fresh air. It's just like oh, okay, this is cute. This table's cute. <laughs> How? Because now you're focused on the restaurant and. How are you doing that? Because I know something has to suffer. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, I actually used to be on TV when I moved back because I studied a broadcast journalism and film production. So I wow. worked at, yeah, I worked at Sound City, Spice TV. I had a show, Reality Access. I no way. At 24. Yeah, I did all of that. Like, and that actually led me to interior. Yeah, I did all of that. 20, I moved back 09. I did that from 2010 to 2012, 13, yeah. <laughs> and then I started interior in 2013. And then I kind of just like moved. So I've kind of done a lot of things. Yes, you have. Yeah, but then, yeah, you're right. Now I can just kind of like, I'm done with, you know, even this TikTok that people do, I'm just like, I like watching it. Yeah. Like I see you when you do the funny <laughs> stuff. It's so funny. I just watched one the other day. It was so funny, but like, man, I can't do it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just can't bring myself <laughs> to doing it. Uh, but, um, Interior I've been doing since 2013, almost a decade. It kind of has its own structure. I have a whole team that handles that. My mm -hmm. sister, my dear sister Chelsea, a lifesaver. She works with me. She handles the business. So even before I started Slice, kind of, it's been on autopilot. Mm -hmm. So I just touch base, do this. I meet the clients. I bring in the money. Mm -hmm. In terms of operations, I'm not even involved with IC anymore. So that's why, and I'm the kind of person, I like to challenge myself. I can't. Even with Slice, the moment Slice just takes off and it's like, it doesn't really need me anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to do something else. Yes. I just can't. Now, wow. Just I don't know why I just can't chill. But like, as soon as I feel, because I get, see, listen, the I don't mind is a devil's workshop. Yes, you want to collect our money for this Lagos. You can't have to walk. You it's already working. For Lagos. Because anytime I go to a restaurant, my debits are large. But you know, Lily, I have to thank you. Do you know everybody you've brought to Slice, they come back. I know. They keep coming. And like, they bring Uti. people. They, they bring come, people. And they, they don't tell I'm me. I'm telling like, oh, you. I've been going like, here. I, know. I have to tell you, like, you know, because I swear to God, if it was not you, I would have disappointed you ah, today. I... But I was like, I can never. My girl was like, like, Sleep, you're, you're, you're in pain. I was like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, I can't stop. Tracy, really. let's take a shot to that. Let's, okay, let's cheers. Let's take a shot. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Mm. That's how you know. Uh, my producer said I should stop doing my face like that. Producer, come and take this shot. <laughs> and you know if I should do my face like that or not. Oh my um, goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Now we're going to get right into the food. And guess what? I'm eating from Slice Lagos today. Yes, catch me right back. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my favorite part of the show. Voila! I'm having salmons today from Slice Lagos. Yay. You all need to visit Slice Lagos. This is not a paid ad. Trust me, Tracy has not paid me. She's owing me. She'll pay me I later. <laughs> you guys need to taste the food. It's amazing. Tracy, yo, let's dive in. I don't know. I don't know how you you add weight. <laughs> eh. you. Tracy, you add weight. You never see I anything. I already did. Like, I just because I'm always tasting. Mm, I don't think I've had this salmon before. You, I think you did the very first time. It's like mm. the pesto sauce. Mm. So and the mash. Mm. And then it, oh, I think it has avo in it. Also. I don't know. It has pesto. Mm, it's just this. Um, the am I eating my food? I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, I want to taste if it's right. Mm. My producer is eyeing me because she told me I should have, uh, act classy when I'm when I see food. Mm, it's good. Mm. And then the uh, it has the it's the, pesto. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Tracy, eat your lamb chop. I don't understand what's happening. I here? actually got the the no lamb you, for you, you. you no no you got the salmon. I have my chart. I have proof. <laughs> I even asked. I said truth for me like oh it's the salmon. I said oh, yeah 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 the salmon. So okay okay fine. Well. Mm -hmm. But Tracy, yeah. but quick one. <laughs> you know how you are, they say slay queen, you're always looking nice. Oh Every time God. I see you on Instagram, you're always, you know, with the designers, your outfits, you're an effortless beauty to be here. Oh, thank you. Like, yeah, I'm done with you. See. Now that Slice is taking your time, you're not giving us some, you give us only I'm stories. I'm so done with Instagram. <laughs> you like, give us I only swear. stories, Tracy. Something I'm like, Tracy, no, we want feeds. Like, Don't worry, I'll come back later. But then, like, <clears throat> this question. Oh my God. Just if you're always at Slice, your relationship, how is it? How are you coping? 
How are you balancing it? I'm so done with you. Because something must suffer. <laughs> you know how I'm single? <laughs> so we that are single. I know you're not single, Tracy. Why not? You're not we single. We just try to make it work. We make it work. But it's not easy, right? No. It can be, but we make it work. We make it work. But how come? Because I see how hard you work. Mm -hmm. And some other girls out there, they just be like, you know, the people just see the out, the beauty, the mm -hmm. pictures. They don't know the hard work that you put. Mm -hmm. Me, I know the hard work that you put because I've worked with you. Like, yeah. I've done a collaboration with you. I see how involved. If you have to straighten the hair yourself to get what the vision you see, you do it. Exactly. So some people don't see this work. Like, yeah. you literally so... Because other people just want to relax and be taken care of. You don't want that too. Okay. So I why are you putting too. in the work? Because you can have both. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can, you, can, you can relax and be taken care of. And you can also put in the work. But also, putting in the work is also the process of getting to re be relaxed and be taken care yeah. of. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. I love the fact that you're spiritual, because I know you're very spiritual. Mm -hmm. and I'm very spiritual. I've always been a Christian. But the way I hold God now, Tracy, mm -hmm. if I ever want to cough, I can ask God, should I cough? Yeah. Like, that's how spiritual I am now. Yeah. If I knew, if I know what I know now, then, mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like I would have gone far. But there are no regrets, because I feel like everything, all my experiences, all mm -hmm. the bad, the good, the ugly, is what has shaped me to the woman I've become. Of so course. I'm grateful for all the life lessons. 100%. No regrets. You know, no regrets. And mm -hmm. I love, I, for me, I'm just in a space where I just pray that I'm focusing on my work. I just pray that God sends the right person that will align with my future. 100%. Because right now in Lagos, Tracy, there are no men in Lagos. But the thing is, I feel like when you're ready, it will come. Right? Like, the person for you will come. You just have to be prepared to receive. Hmm. And if you're not in the right space, it's not going to come. The wrong one will come. And if you're out there looking, you're going to choose the wrong one. So... Why don't you work on yourself, grow yourself, and when it's supposed to come, it will you come. Can't. I don't know why anyone is in a hurry. I've never been in a hurry to meet a man mm -hmm. ever in my life. Like it's always been a situation where I'm in this space and I'm in this frame of mind, and the person that's supposed to be in my life at yeah, that just time comes. comes. Yeah. For whatever purpose, for whatever reason, if it's forever, or even even when you get married, do you know it is forever? Yeah. So, it's for the timing that you feel like you you know you need that person or that person is supposed to be in your life. Yeah. All my exes, I mean, I ain't got no ex, but I ain't got no ex. <laughs> Do we got babies together? No. no. So uh, but... I ain't got no ex. I don't. But I just know the reason and the purpose that they were all in my life. Yeah, and and, it, with... and it's okay. And you know, I think yeah. I love the fact that we're getting to this point to understand that. See, and I'm saying this to beautiful ladies out there. It's okay to break up. It's okay for you know to have phases in your life. 100%. Everything works together for your good. I mean, for those who love God, and mm -hmm. I love God, mm -hmm. so it means everything you're experiencing, the heartbreak, the break, bra. Tracy, they've set me break, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and today I'm you just still like, standing. <laughs> and then today I'm just like, it's and not... you're hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> so you still go eat. We still gotta eat. We still gotta eat. You, you had breakfast. Vegas. You had lunch. You had dinner. You and still go we eat. Got brunch. <laughs> And drunk. Ah. <laughs> so, oh yeah, still so, gonna eat. So I feel like everything. I I love the maturity that we're all like. You know, mm. now it's just all love. It's all positive energy, positive 100%. vibe. Trying to do better, become more. I don't even have time. I know. Like, if it's not important, I'm not doing it. I know. I'm just so over it. Like I'm over the fake shit. Yes. Sorry, my my language. I'm, I'm it's, so it's, over. Uh, I mean, it's okay. It's a lot. I know. Like I know the people in my life. I know that important. Exactly. I know the people that. Are important in my life. I know the people that I want to align with. I know. I know the people that are fluff. I know. That, so I just. I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I don't. I've done all of that. I've made mistakes. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for my mistakes. Mm -hmm. We are impulsive. We're emotional. Sometimes yeah. we act based on impulse. Mm -hmm. We act based on emotion. And that's fine. And I've that's done okay. all of that. I've gotten. Out, I've gotten it out of my system. Now it's on to bigger things. Yes. I know what. I know where my goal. Like I, I've set goals for myself. Every day I set a goal for myself. Every single day. And I must achieve them. I know what I have to do today when I live here. So I don't have time. Genuinely speaking, I'm not even trying to be a cliche. Like, I genuinely don't have time. Every time I have, I've already calculated what I'm going to do with it. You, I still need to challenge myself. And this, when I'm challenging myself, I don't have time. Like, I'm busy. So when Slice gets to a point where, you know, it's on autopilot, I need something else because then I'll be free again. And you know, we ain't trying to let the devil come in. I know. We, we ain't ain't gotta gotta be busy. We gotta be busy. Just, I need to this lamb chop, so I think we just eat small. Because we're about to go, let's go into the games, but let's eat some. All right, let's do the games. I'm uh, ready for the uh, games. Uh, I want the salmon. Why are you? Because, like, uh, I'm more of like a fish person. I like mm. meat too, but. Mm. Yeah. Just like, mm, like salmon. <laughs> That's what you feel like doing. Sorry. Mm. Is this salmon? Enter. 
Yeah, I like Okay, it. guys, we have to go into the games. My producer don't the eye me, I beg. Mm -hmm. We'll finish the food. It's game time. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Guys, Tracy has been trying to bribe me so that she won't drink. Tracy, if you fail, you drink. If you don't want to drink, just win. Huh? I ain't never gonna fail. Okay, you ain't, you ain't gonna fail. Okay. <laughs> Tracy's accent, whenever I try to mimic it, it doesn't go well. Okay, um, <laughs> the game is the first, I'll say a letter. Mm -hmm. You just have to say the first food that comes to your mind. Whatever it is, as far as it represents that letter. Okay. Then we're good to go. Um, should I give you an example? For instance, if I say A, Abacha. Okay. Right? Okay, so, um... Okay, I'm ready. Oh. L. Linguini pasta. Uh-uh. And we have that at Slice. It's scampi linguini pasta. It comes with calamari and hey, now, wow, prawns. This is my premium advance. I mean, how much? Mm. Um, how much you think? It's seventeen five hundred. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, your turn. Go, go, go. Oh, uh, I gotta ask mm -hmm. you. Um, D. Hmm? Drink. No, 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 it's not your time. Drink. It's not your time. It was three seconds. No, no Jesse, we did not Drink. count. Ah, Drink. shit, shit. No. Ah! <laughs> We gotta drink the one in the front first. Woo! How do you feel? How do you feel? Okay, how many how many more questions you got coming up? <laughs> well, you look like you're in pain. V, V, V. A vulture. I want to drink, drink, drink. What vulture? Drink, 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 man. Tracy, drink. Ah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, there's this amazing sh um, drink they do at Slice, by the way. Oh my gosh, Tracy, that's that's it. <laughs> Only Tequila can make a classy girl squeeze her face. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, guys, it's time to go. We're gonna wrap the show. Thank you all for watching Lillian's Couch. Thank you so much, Tracy. For having thank me. you for coming. I really appreciate you. I pray God grant your heart desires. I pray Slice keeps doing great. Amen, amen, um, I amen. pray you you Same you you, you get rewarded for all your hard work. I love you yeah, so much. Thank you thank so you. much for having me. Thank you. Good luck with the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank I love you, you all. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Bye.